Good afternoon, everyone. This is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz. I'm coming to you on Thursday, April 2nd, 2020, uh, with a little bit of an update. And I'm going to start with the story. When I was growing up in elementary school in Norfolk, Virginia, we lived on Dumar Drive, and uh, I was a big superhero fan. And uh, I was convinced that one day I was going to take on some powers. And so every day I would run to the end of my cracked and broken driveway and get to the gutter where the muddy water gathered after a storm. And I would leap into the air, convinced that was going to be the day I took off into the sky. Well, uh, it might shock you to hear that I, I never gained superpowers and I never took off into the sky. I never even got a cape when I was a so-called super commissioner here in the athens Clark County government. Um, but what I'm here to tell you today is that now is the time when each of you can be supermen and superwomen in so many ways for this great community as you've been all along. For people like Diana and Josh Harbour at Red Dress Boutique who are making masks for Sonny Baumgartner and Don Chambers over at Community on Jackson Street who are doing the same, for Chris Sugiuchi, who's printing masks with a 3D printer over at Chase Elementary. Uh, kudos to all of you. Uh, I encourage all of you in the public to look up these folks and support them. Um, they've got ways that you can contribute to these efforts and I encourage you to do that. I also encourage you to contribute socially and for the mental health of your fellow folks, and for yourself. Um, it's obvious that this is a tough time, and we all need support every day just getting through life. That's just a normal part of human existence, but that's especially true right now. So if you need some support, reach out to your loved ones, reach out to your friends. They wanna hear from you. And if you think others need support, please reach out to them. Uh, in this regard, I uh, think about my buddy Patrick, who I taught more than 20 years ago at Coyle Middle School. And he's living out in Colorado now, but he's been really overt in saying that after his mom passed away last year, even though he's this strong guy, he's a boxer, he's really resilient, but, but he needed some support. And so there's no shame in reaching out to get support. It's necessary. I've done it in my life, and it's essential that we do that for each other. If you have an acute need, or you have a friend or loved one with an acute need, remember that you can call the Georgia Crisis and Access Line at 1-800-715-4225. Uh, we need to take care of our mental health and the mental health of those around us. To that end, uh, I'm here on the Greenway Trail in Dudley Park, near where the Greenway and Firefly Trails meet one another. Uh, it's a place where myself and my family uh, get a little bit of an outlet and get some relief. We've been walking uh, just about every evening on these trails. Uh, I encourage you to do the same as the trails are fully open now after a couple of days of pause just to make sure that we could keep them well maintained. Uh, if you come out to the Firefly Trail, if you come out to the Greenway, uh, I do encourage you to just keep moving, uh, staying with a small cluster of your family or your friends or your roommates uh, and not stopping along the trail. Um, because that's important so that we don't um, create health challenges for one another. But the trails are open and we want you to use them. Uh, it is important that you get out here, get a little bit of light, get a little bit of sun, uh, and see the greenery. I remember reading 10 or 15 years ago that one of the aspects of supported mental health in human life was just that you saw some green in your view shed every day. And so come out and see some green in your view shed. I want to give you a couple of other updates about mayor and commission activity here in the unified government. Um, we had a discussion in our work session this week about our resiliency package, and we anticipate a manager's report about the initial round of that resiliency package to support the community with the dollars that we have available to us. I anticipate that that's going to be most heavily focused in the initial round on indigent persons and food security and vulnerable populations and unsheltered persons. And I also anticipate that it's gonna include a component that we're calling the community core, where those people who may never have been part of the formal economy, may never have been part of a workforce,
can begin their working lives doing some of our community needs like removing invasive species or picking up trash and that we can help those individuals transition into skilled employment and make sure that when the economy rebounds, we're able to steer them toward the ability to get a CDL license or to become a welder. And so this is the kind of work that we've been discussing for many months, but it's ever more important right now in this day and time. So be looking for more information about that. I wanna let you know a little bit more about our shelter in place ordinance in athens Clark County as well. The mayor and commission intend to extend this at least through May 5th, because we know that the healthcare modeling indicates that we are not gonna be tailing off until at least that point in terms of new infections and deaths. We do know that Governor Kemp has indicated that a shelter in place order is going to be required for all of Georgia through at least April 13th. So we and our legal team are gonna ensure that we were appropriately dovetailing through that state order, but we fully anticipate that we are gonna to have to extend some requirements through May in the same way that now K through 12 schools are gonna be closed through the end of this academic year. So be looking for more information about that. Finally, before I go, I just wanna thank you once again for doing everything you can to support the greater athens Clark County community, individually and as a group, for yourself and for our loved ones and neighbors. God bless you and I'll see you soon.